What's up everybody, this is Chad Lawson here and I am giving you three tips on how to shoot e-commerce photography. All right, today we're shooting with Wait A Minute Merch. Um, we're about to get into the first look really quick, but I will get back and give you your first tip. All right, your first tip for e-commerce photography, you're gonna want to get you a minimum six by six, but I prefer an eight by eight scrim. Um, having a large light source is best because with e-commerce, your main goal is to light the subject evenly from top to bottom. An eight by eight scrim is gonna light up a good bit of our psych wall. Um, and it's a good soft light source. You don't want to blow out the colors of the clothing that you're shooting for e-commerce. So um, yeah, the first tip would be to get you a good scrim. You can either buy one. They, this runs about $400 if you want like a professional one that's, you know, it's not homemade. Or you can do a, a DIY. Um, I, I do know many people who have created their own using PVC pipe and um, sheet from the fabric store. So either way, you're going to want to get a scrim. All right, your second tip is, once you got your lighting settings perfect and you have your model subject in a certain area, you're gonna want to, step back from real quick, set markers so they're in the same spot each time. Because let's say you got perfect settings for your model right here, and in the next shot, she steps back. Now, your pictures aren't gonna be the same, you're gonna have inconsistent results. So that's tip number two. Push on that hair out your face, yeah. Turn your head to the right. Turn around. All right, third tip is, you can start off with just one light. You don't have to have two or three lights for e-commerce, especially if you have that scrim. But my real tip is, you're gonna wanna get a light with minimum 500 watts per second. Um, because you're gonna need a good bit of power to light up that whole scrim. If you have something lower than that, you're not gonna get enough light to hit your subjects to even light them. Um, so, you know, I use for these shoots in studio, I use Paul C. Buff Einstein's. You don't have to use that. You can see this one is rated 640 watts per second. Um, you can get pro photos, you can use Godox. As long as it has minimum 500 watts per second, you should be good to, you know, light your subject. Anything lower than that, I would not recommend. All right, I got a bonus tip for you guys. Another very important piece for doing a e-commerce shoot is you wanna make sure your color settings are accurate. Um, Cause you don't wanna take pictures of a full, you know, boutique worth of clothes and the colors are off because at the end of the day, they're using those pictures to sell those clothes and they want their customers to see accurate colors when they go to their websites to buy the clothes. So always make sure you monitor your white balance and also you're gonna have to tweak your color settings. All right guys, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you, because I know I stutter a lot. I know I'll be saying on, um, but I hope you got a lot of good information, good tips, and I hope it's gonna help you transform your e-commerce um, photography. Um, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.